It's a 42,000 square metre precinct, it's around about 300 million. So that's a huge investment in both not only justice in Christchurch, but also in the Christchurch city. The building is a magnificent one and we're very proud of the quality of the building. There's been many innovations and I think without a doubt it is a legacy in Christchurch and it will be a landmark forever. It's an exciting new development, a wonderful, wonderful statement for our central city. This is a classic example of a beautiful big building and is an exemplar for other builds to follow. It's not just about having government departments in one building, it's about changing the way we work so that we can work more effectively together and more efficiently so that the outcomes for the people that need our services are better. The building's constructed to the highest seismic ratings and will be a great place for staff to work. They can feel safe and assured and that's really important when they have to deliver in a time of need or crisis. The EOC in this building has been built to such a standard that it will withstand any earthquake, continue to be capable of being used it's got emergency power supply delivered by generators. It's got emergency water. Uh, so we know that we can function there for at least 72 hours and probably a lot longer. This is something which is going to be in the city foreseeably the next 50, 100 years. And so we have looked at materials um, that reflect you know, that role that this building has to play in the cityscape that presents the gravitas of a civic building in the city. You know, all, all that, those things were in our minds um, in terms of the design and layout and materials that we used to really bring that sense of enduring quality for a you know, civic building that will stand the test of time. For Matapopore, for Tuahuriri, for Ngaitahu, we have the opportunity to, now to participate in the future. When the settlers came into Christchurch, we weren't involved. Our ancestors, they weren't consulted about what should be there in the city, but we are now. The safest building in Christchurch, probably one of the safest buildings in the country. Actually, it's actually probably one of the safest buildings in the world. At the end of the day, building and construction is all via teams and people, right from the project director and the project sponsors who you know, have the vision to make these things happen, right down to the, the guys who are cleaning the building and ready for opening. It's all people, so it is about relationship management and it is about getting people to do things together to get to the, the final outcome, which um, I think is going to be an amazing thing for the people of Christchurch. A wonderful team working on the project. At the height, we had over um, a thousand people on the job on a daily basis. To me, to be able to walk past this building once we've finished and it's open and seeing people working here, it'll give me an, a fantastic buzz to be able to say, you know, I was involved in this project. And that's the way all our team feels.